Howdy folks. This is going to be part three of our video series on doing some file input and output. And this time we're going to get to the output part of that. Um, uh, so, you know, just like a lot of things with C++, there's, there's a couple of different ways to do it. Um, but let's start off with some example code. So um, when we switch over here, here's a little bit of um, code that I have. So You'll notice that I have the same, uh, you know, kind of core set of things that I did with the other um, input output example. Um, F stream is our um, important one, um, which gives us both of the input and output streams. And you'll notice right off the bat here, um, there's a couple of things that we're going to want to do. So um, I'm making a um, basically. Um, another file object. If you actually kind of remember in our little IO example here, um, we actually made something called an IF stream. And we could actually make something called an OF stream, which, you know, sounds for output file stream. Um, but in this case, I'm actually going to show you the more generic F stream and sort of how to use it. Um, and the main difference about the F stream versus all the other streams is actually they're kind of the same in terms of like how they all work and sort of like things you can do with a dot. Um, but the difference is, is the open command. So when I make something with an F stream, I, when I want to open a file, I need to say, um, the file name, just like I did before. Um, but I also have to then designate, um, how I'm going to interact with it. So in this case, I'm saying I'm going to um, it, use the out outputting functions. So I'm going to be sending stuff to this. So I'm opening something, getting ready to send things to it. If I wanted it to behave just like our other example, I could just put in in here. So um, it's really up to you um, if you want to always use F stream. Um, a lot of times I use IF stream because I know I'm most likely going to be just like pulling things in. Um, but um, you'll kind of see that like when I'm about to do something to the file, I'm going to have to reopen it. And so when I open a file, I can always switch it to be a different format. So we'll see that in another thing. Um, and then just like I did before, I am going to do a little check to see if the file is actually open. Now, um, there's one thing that's different when I set up something to be an output is that if it doesn't find the file, it actually creates that file on my computer. So if I, um, you know, remember how we looked at sort of all the files in uh, our folder here, um, you know, here's a bunch of, you know, files that I have in this folder that I was watching. Um, and you know what, let's, let's uh, switch it down to a, uh, the details. Um, oh, I guess that's a little hard for you to see. Eh, we'll go back to uh, extra large icons then. So you can see here that there's 29 items in the, the thing. And none of them say super cool text. So what's going to happen is because I'm saying to output something to a file, if it's not there, it's just going to make it for me, assuming that we have you know the permissions and things like that. So if you're doing this in the school, school um, computers, this is one of those reasons that you want to make sure that you are um, you know, in your documents folder with these. Um, and, um, you know, we'll experiment with Replit to see how, how it goes. But assuming that file um, isn't there, or it's a blank version of the file, it's going to open it up. If it's open, then these should look really familiar. They look just like C out statements, right? I'm using my little arrows, my string stream arrows, to send things to that file. So in this case, I'm sending howdy folks, an end line, and I'm sending my file, I like tacos. So let's give that a, a quick little run. And you'll notice it runs and, and well, basically nothing happens because um, I didn't see out anything. But you'll notice here, right here, now there is super cool text. And if I double click and open that up, oops, sorry, let me move this out of the way, you will see that my super cool notepad text has a howdy folks, I like tacos on it. So that's really cool. Um, and one of the things that's kind of interesting about this is like if I change this and I am like, I like fruit, 
because yes, I do like fruit. Now, I like if we just kind of look over here at my folder, see how it's right there? I'm not deleting it, anything. It's there. Now I'm going to run my program. It says, you know, just like it did before, it doesn't look like you do anything. But now let's double double click and open this up again to look at it again. And you'll see now it says, Howdy folks, I like fruit. So what it did is that it opened up this file and then it just like kind of like wrote over it. Okay. So, um, you know, if I close this down and I comment out the I like fruit and I run it, well, let's open up and see what we have. Well, look, it just says, howdy folks. Okay. So the idea is, is that in this version, if I just put output, then it means, hey, I'm going to make a new file every time. Okay. So I'm basically making a new file. I'm starting at the top of it and I'm writing stuff on, on that. Um, so anyways, so that super handy, um, you know, especially if we just want to like, you know, you know, generate a file. So like, you know, anytime you use one of those things that like converts, a, you know, a GIF to a JPEG or something like that, it's kind of doing something like this. It's like opening up the one file, doing some math, copying it into another file. Okay, cool. Here's your new file. Great. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to close the file. So after we've done this, I should have done this in the previous example too, is if we open something, we only want to keep it open exactly as long as we need it um, and then close it. And then if we need to do something to it again, like opened up again. Okay. So if I just went here and I said, you know what? I just kind of copied this and did it again. Okay. I'm going to open up this file and I'm going to check it's open and, you know, Hey, you know what? I'm going to say, you know, more stuff. And, um, you know, I like, um, I don't know, ice cream. That seems good. So I'm going to do this again and I'm going to run it. And let's take a look at what happened to our super cool slide. And so notice how it only says more stuff. I like ice cream. Okay. So just like we said before, Every time I open this, and if I open it with the out command, then what's it going to do? It's just going to grab that file, and we're going to start writing at the top. Now, we can see that that's probably like less than desirable <laughs> to always be overwriting that, you know, especially if you're doing something like, you know, making a high score table. Like, you know, it's like, hey, you know what? We might um, want to just like, you know, change a, you know, one line in it or add a new high score at the bottom or something like that. So there's another thing we can do. We can open it with the intent to append to it. So um, app in this case is append. And now when I run this thing, close that down, hop over to our file, open up super cool. And you will notice that it says, howdy folks. I like fruit, more stuff. I like ice cream. Okay, so now what it did is it went to the end of the file and it added stuff to it. So this is like super duper useful. There's all sorts of really um, helpful things that we can do with this, but this really lets us, um, you know, in particular, like keep lists of stuff that we sort of save off. Um, you know, and you could think about this, like if you're making a game or something like that, um, you know, maybe the character got a new item in their inventory. And so you wanted to add it to that. And, um, you know, or like they um, unlocked a new region and, you know, you wanted to be able to save that in a save file. You're like, okay, cool. I'm going to add that little detail onto the end of it and not destroy any of the other information. Um, so this idea of like building a file that has exactly the things you want in it is going to play um, a big piece in your upcoming homework. So, um, okay, there you go. That's how we write to files. Um, we've handled um, opening files, and so you should be all ready to do your work for the week. Uh, have fun. Cheers.